this is David of Inspect Canada. One of the very common deficiencies that we find on homes that we inspect are loose toilets. The problem with loose toilets is they can start leaking, deteriorate the subfloor, create a water stain on the ceiling below, there could be some mold involved. And you know what, it's so common, I challenge you, once you get to your bathroom, just go beside your toilet and try to kick it a little bit. Look at this. See how loose this one is? And what's gonna happen, and when they're loose like this, is that the wax seal that is making the connection between the floor and the toilet, it's a watertight connection so that when you flush, water goes straight down. If it starts moving like this, it will damage it, and when you flush, a little bit of water might go sideways. So I'm gonna film the whole thing, I'll show you how easy it is to do, something you can do yourself, so follow me along and we'll get that going. Now, before I get started, I always like to give this toilet a nice clean up and to clean around the floor as well. So I use some Lysol wipes that will help to clean this up really nicely. So open these wipes here to the floor. And a little bit of a wipe. So we don't have too many bacteria to deal with. Now the second thing we need to do here is we need to empty this toilet. Once we take it out, we don't want it to be filled up with water. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna shut the water valve here. But keep in mind, if these valves hasn't been used in a while, they may start leaking on you. So just be careful with that. I'm gonna flush it. All right, and then I'm gonna use a bucket and a sponge to suck the rest of the water right out of there. I want to do the bowl, but I also want to do the tank as well. Okay, so we're done with this. Take this cover off. So for this job here, there's a couple tools that you will need to do if you're gonna do that on your own. One of them will be a scraper of some kind. You could use a putty knife and then we'll use that to remove the wax seal that's under the toilet. Uh, we may need some channel lock, not 100% sure yet. We'll see how it goes. We need an adjustable wrench to take the screws out. If this toilet is, if the floor is out of level, we're gonna need a level to set this up and some shim to lift it up in the corners if we need to. And then we're gonna finish this beauty here with a little bit of nice line of caulking around the toilet. But not to forget, we need also a wax ring. This is what will go in between the floor and the toilet. And that is pretty much all we need here. One of the first thing we'll need to do is to take those screws right out. There's one here and one on the other side. They're under these caps. If these caps are difficult to remove, you can always use a bit of a pry bar under them to remove them. And then you can use your adjustable wrench just to basically get rid of them. They're normally not very tight because if you put too much pressure, you could crack the toilet. So often you can take them off by hand. And these ones here, they're not very rusted, but I will still replace them because they, it comes with the wax seal kit. All right, now that I have the bolts taken out, this toilet is almost ready to be removed there, but the first thing I wanna do is I wanna disconnect this water line. Every time you do, there's a little bit of water in it, so you know, make sure you have a bit of a rag so you can catch, catch some of that water. I'm gonna take this toilet right out. I've got a garbage bag set right here. I'm gonna land it right on top of it so I can wrap the bottom up so that when I take it outside a little bit later, it doesn't drip all over the house. Okay. 
and this is the wax seal. We're gonna clean this up and then uh, and then we'll install a new toilet. Now, as you can see, this is the old seal, the wax ring. We don't even have one on this side. Uh, you know, obviously this was ready to go years ago. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna use my scraping tool. I'll get rid of this wax around there so we can install a new one and then uh, and then we'll jump to the next step. All right, so now that I've got the flange all cleaned up, the wax seal removed, I'm gonna talk to you a little bit about those wax seals, uh, wax rings. So I did get two of them. Uh, one, it's a little, th this one is a little bit thicker than the other one. And, and the reason is because I saw that there was some tiles here, so most of the time in those cases, the flange is a little bit below the tile, but this time they must have installed it after the tile. It's nice and flush. So we're just gonna use the regular seal. So how this works, and it comes with bolts as well. I'm gonna replace these bolts that were right there, but this is the wax seal. So it comes with a little protection on it. You just peel this right off. And then we're going to connect this to the toilet. So it's a little bit like a donut, basically. And once you push on it, it compresses and it, make, it makes a, a, a watertight seal so that when you flush, water doesn't go sideways. It goes straight down the hole. So I'm going to go and get this brand new toilet. I'm going to bring it over. I'm going to set the bolts and then I'm going to drop it in. So what's important here, when I bring my next toilet, it's, it's going to be heavy. I don't exactly know where the bolts are. I don't want to struggle. I want to make some marks here and I want to make sure that they're in the right spot. So these are the new bolts. It comes with a little plastic piece that you slide right on top like this one here. It fits inside the gap. You turn it. You fit inside the gap right here. You turn it. But what you want is, this is a standard toilet. Standard toilet should be 12 inch on center and that's exactly what we have here. So I want to put these bolts right here at the 12 inch as well. I want them to be both equal. I don't want this toilet to be crooked. So we want to make sure that we're at 12 inch. So we are at both of them at 12 inch. But it's still going to be tough. So you can always put a little bit of a tape on the ground here so that once you drop your toilet you'll be able to see where it is and then I can make a couple marks here at 12 inch So when I drop it, I'll be able to see exactly where I'm dropping this toilet. All right, so I'm gonna go and get it and then I'll install it. All right, so I've got this new toilet here. I have it on the side. What I wanna do is I wanna set the wax seal right on it. So when I drop it, it goes right in the hole. Then I'll know that it's got a good bond. So let's set this up right here. Here's my donut, also known as a wax ring. We're gonna put it right on top here and I'm gonna squish it a little tiny bit just so it doesn't fall off whenever I, I lift the toilet. So yeah, it feels pretty solid already. All right, so this is going to be the hardest part uh, to lift the toilet and put the bolts right here in these holes. So uh, give me a sec to get ready here and uh, I'll put this in. Let's do it. Now, I also want to make sure that it's fairly level. So I can see I'm going to have to add a bit of a shim on the other side there. I also want to make sure that it's good this way as well. So now we have it plumb like this, plumb like that. 
Uh, I'm just gonna start tightening up these bolts. Comes with a little washer that goes on first. All right, so now that I've got it tightened, uh, I'm gonna do a little bit of adjustment and I'm gonna start putting it together. I'm gonna reconnect the water line. We're gonna flush this, do a couple tests, see if what well, we did worked out. All right. So I've put my screws right there. This lid comes with some holes and a button. So I'm gonna push that right in place here. And look at this. Ta-da! Now we only have a few more things to do. My bolts are way too long. I'm gonna have to cut those up if I wanna put a cap on it. I'm going to turn the water on. I want to see if we're having any leaks here, so we might as well fix this up right away. And then I'm going to finish with a caulking. We don't want to caulk the back in case some water needs to come out. It will come out in the back. Plus, it's almost impossible to caulk the back anyways. But we want to have from both sides to the front just to make sure that it doesn't have sideway movements. It keeps it nice and tight. And also, when you mop the floor, all the juice doesn't get in there. It keeps it a lot, uh, you know, a lot cleaner, less bacteria, so it's a lot better that way. All right, well, let's turn the water on and see what happens. So far, so good. So let's just let it fill up and give it a flush. Oh, it's got a soft close too. So let's try a big flush. So far so good. <laughs> we'll try another one. All right, so there's two types of people out there when we're talking about caulking a toilet. There's those that say that you should never caulk a toilet because if there's water that's gonna come out, it has to come out. Otherwise, it's gonna go down, create water stains and deterioration and all that. And then there's the other people like me that says to caulk, not the back, from one side to the other so that if water does come out, it does come out of the back. And once you have it caulked, it doesn't move sideways like this. And that's the problem we see all the time. Right now, we do approximately between eight to 12 home inspections per day. I would have to say that at least six to seven of those properties will have loose toilets, one or two of them. So let's say we have 10 loose toilets per day that we find. I would have to say that at least eight of them are not caught. And the other two, they just caught them lately because they realized that it looks so terrible. So when a toilet is not caught, that's why it becomes loose. If you would keep up with your caulking all the time, I bet you it would stay nice and straight. You wouldn't have to replace the wax seal and it wouldn't leak. So I find that caulking is important. But when we're talking about caulking though, when you go to Home Depot and you look at these tubes, there's a million kinds of it. There's some for the kitchen, some for the windows. So this one here is, is mildew and mold uh, guarantee. It's designed for the washrooms around the bathtub, the toilets, the sinks and all that. So this is a clear caulking. I'm going to put it from one side to the other. And then once it's dry, it will prevent this toilet from moving sideways. The secret with caulking is just not to put too much of it. Just start slow. It's easy to add more.
So as you can see, installing a toilet by yourself is not the end of the world. All you need is a couple tools, a little bit of time, and now you just save three to four hundred dollars. So, you know, in most places, we'll have three, four bathrooms, so you'll have to replace them anyways. So you might as well learn how to do it, and then you do it yourself. One more thing that we recommend here is very often there's leakage behind these toilets that goes unnoticed. So we always recommend installing a little water leak detector back there, especially if you're gonna have tenants. Uh, you know, it's, it's an easy way to save all kinds of problems. We buy them on Amazon, they cost roughly about 15 bucks. We buy eight for $100 and you can put them behind the hot water tank, under the dishwasher, behind the sink, all kinds of places. What's important though is to make sure that they work. So you want to test them. So I got a wet sponge here. If I touch it, my finger was wet, so it started. So as you could hear, it makes all kinds of noise. All I need to do is touch the little element right here with my wet sponge and it starts right away. So you just need to dry it off and hopefully it stops. So you could just put it right behind here. Boom, and mission accomplished. Thank you so much for watching. If you guys uh, have any questions, feel free to contact us directly. All right, until next time, have a beautiful day.